One of the great things about workshop is finding new ways, and innovative ways to get the lessons to cross and also save money. Uh, and I just actually saw a presentation uh, done by Junior Achievement and a school board member. I have Christy Ty from Junior Achievement. And Christy, you're also a board member in Greenwich, right? I am, I am. In, uh, Warren, Warren County. County, we have to clarify that. And we have Ava Nosh, who is a board member in Franklin Township. Yes, in Somerset. Uh, in Somerset County, we have to clarify <laughs> that too. Yeah, because we have five Franklins. <laughs> so, um, but they had a program uh, that dealt with teaching financial literacy. Uh, Ava, why don't you start first? Uh, it's mandatory that we teach financial literacy. It is. Right now with the Common Core Standards 9.2 is financial literacy and also career education. And it's something that all of our school districts from elementary on must do through high school. And the kids have to graduate, especially 9 through 12, having the seven strands. And it involves financial literacy, If it involves risk management, it involves consumerism, it involves all sorts of planning and understanding. We're preparing kids for jobs that haven't even been invented and also for jobs that we know today. And regardless what area they go into, there is financial literacy that they need to have. And the state, in adopting the Common Core Standards, has made this a very important standard. Now, a lot of times boards do things because they have to do it. The state says it. But, you know, I saw you talk, and there's a great need. That's why the legislature passed the law. But uh, can you tell us what the need is? There's a great need. There's a great need for, for kids to start learning financial literacy at the very beginning. Now, financial literacy is basic personal financial management, management skills, things that we all need to know to be successful later in life. Um, to the, the average college student, when you arrive on campus, you're inundated with offers of credit cards. And so they sign up for credit cards. The average college student has about three credit cards. But the problem is they don't know how to use them wisely. And then when they graduate, not only do most of them have student loans, but they also have credit card debt. So they're starting off with all this debt, and it's very hard from then on to, to, um, to really get back on track. So teaching kids financial literacy at a very young age and consistently throughout their formative years and in high school is, is more important now, now than ever. With this economy, it's never been more important. Uh, I know some people say I should be taught financial literacy <laughs> at home, uh, but Junior Achievement has a unique way of helping boards because, look, every time there's something that you're told to teach, there's a cost factor, usually there's a cost factor involved. Right. So what does Junior Achievement offer to district? Junior Achievement, first of all, we've been around since 1919, um, and we've been helping kids to own their economic success for, for many, many years. Junior Achievement of New Jersey provides these um, these, these, this curriculum for grades kindergarten through 12 in financial literacy based on um, what they're learning in their, in their classes at the time. And because we have corporate sponsors, they're free to school districts. So that's the best part. Now, do, you, uh, do the teachers do all these classes or do you train people, volunteers to do this? It, it depends. In the lower levels, the, the, the classes are done by volunteers, um, usually uh, from corporations. For example, we had a group from Capital One come out to a school in Newark last week and there are about 20 volunteers from Capital One and they went and taught the, the curriculum to the students in grades K to four. So it was a really great experience for everybody involved. The teachers were there, but the teachers were just there to observe and to make sure that the classroom uh, went well. But they're delivered by the volunteers. We trained the volunteers to, to, to give the programs to the students. Um, other ways, our, our, our capstone program is called Finance Park. It's for middle and high school students. That's taught in the classroom by the teacher, but we provide all the materials in the workbook. It's, uh, it's got six lessons that um, these students will learn about financial literacy, about savings, about banking, about making investments. Um, so they take these six lessons, and then it culminates with a visit to our actual Finance Park location, which is in Newark. And when the students arrive there, they're put into groups of four. They're given a scenario, um, your, your age, how much you make, how many kids you have, your, your education. And then you have to take out your, your net monthly income and visit one of 18, all of 18 little kiosks. And you have to develop your budget based on the kiosk. For example, there's a, there's a kiosk for, for housing, there's a kiosk for transportation, there's one for food. So you have to visit every kiosk and develop the budget based on their net monthly income. And at the end, before they leave, they have to make sure they have a balanced budget. So it's a real hands-on budgeting experience for these students. Ava, I was taken by what goes on in your school because the volunteers who teach the younger students are students. They really are. They are our high school students. We have a very strong uh, junior achievement program in our high school. It's part of our marketing classes. It's also the students run the school store. 
but what they also do is they go down into the elementary grades and uh, talk to the kids and actually do lessons with them. And the programs that Junior Achievement has, you know, learning about ourselves, this is on a kindergarten level, where a little girl wants to buy a dolly and she can't afford it. And what they do is learn how to budget and to save. And the lessons which you know, are provided but with, by the uh, Junior Achievement, which is a wonderful four-letter word of free, <laughs> which is very important with our 2% caps that we have and restrictions. But what the kids uh, teach is that uh, the little girl has to uh, earn some money and she does chores. And for each of those chores, she gets 25 cents and she puts it away and she saves it so she can buy the dolly. It's you know on a lower level and as they get older, the various um, levels and involvement, there's one on our community where they learn the various aspects of our community, how to run a business. Do I want to open up a pizza store or a Chinese restaurant or do I want to become a reporter? And what does it entail? And these are life skills. Now it works twofold. Not only are our younger students learning, but also our older ones. They are learning skills. I mean, we have students, um, I've had comments from our, our program at our Elizabeth Avenue School, which is our elementary school. 33 volunteers were in front of 15 classes and they taught 390 students. And the feedback is one of the youngsters said, the students, the elementary grade, my class had fun and wished the volunteers wouldn't leave. I blocked the doors so they couldn't leave. <laughs> The high school students also learn what it, uh, it takes to be a teacher. Some of them are going into education, but this was a hands-on. So it was a great benefit. And then to the district, you said it before, there's a cost benefit to the district because there's no cost. But also, we are preparing students for jobs that, you know, as I said, right. haven't been invented. Our, our students are learning future jobs, plus also skills that they can use as, as they get older. We had 53 volunteers in our 5-6 schools. They went to 26 classes, reaching a total of 623. I mean, that is a major impact. And what's exciting is the younger ones look up to the older students. And sometimes they're more receptive than hearing their teacher or adults talk about saving money, how to start a business, how to do various things. Plus then the older ones also learn those the, that knowledge because obviously they have to prepare. Plus they learn the skills to talk, to react to kids, to do presentations, which they will do later on in life. Because we deal with the worldwide economy. I know my, both of my kids who are adults are very much involved on a, an international level. Christy, it's a great program. It looks like it has a great benefit. If someone's watching this, how do they contact uh, Junior Achievement? If someone's watching, if you're interested in any of these programs, just feel free to shoot me an email. My, my email address is ctige, it's my name, c-t-i-g-h-e at j-a dot org. Shoot me an email anytime, and I'd be happy to give you more information about how you can bring these to your district. Too. We have a website, j-a-n-j dot org. Okay. I'd like to thank Christy and Ava for joining me. And, uh, I think this is an innovative way to teach financial literacy. Uh, at no cost to the district, it's something that's probably worthwhile uh, for every district to look into.